Hi everybody, good uh, good afternoon. This is, uh, this is part of the Rome's Actify City. It was about, I think, two months ago or something. Now they released last time a bunch of them. Now there is another one waiting for the other uh, CTF, the student result, uh, result or certificates. But for now they put all oh, they put in premium. I'm not sure why they put these ones in premium. Perform a known plain text attack to re cover repeating key so the key point we need to remember this we have repeating key we have an XOR and no implant text basically no implant text it mean we know part of the cipher that some text exists in the cipher like in this room they will tell you we had accepted one of the cipher message containing the next target the, they encrypted the message using repeated key so let's put this this keyword is very important. It's XOR. However, we made a critical error. Every message always start with the header. So we have all that start always, and then we have the full message that we want. This is not. Uh, it's a full message. We know part of it is this. So we know part of the uh, of this. So the first thing we can do because this is this hex value. So what that mean? It mean if I go to Cyberchef and put that uh, paste. What's going on? Okay, order. Now I can convert it to hex without spaces. So basically, now what this means? So we have the, this. You can see it's uh, twelve. Twelve. You can see uh, Cyberchef show you twelve. So we know it's uh, twelve um, characters. Because it's an XOR, so it means if I XOR from, remember when you say A XOR B, so if I want to find uh, A, I can just uh, A, X, uh, A XOR B equals C, I just XOR uh, C uh, with B, I found A. A in this case is the key. So basically, because if I have this cipher text and this is the the plain text, the plain text will come like a message. Then there is something. Let's uh, let's see what's in my. Oh, this is the other room I was doing it. Uh, let's do vint file. So basically now what we have, we have this value that we know the the hex of it, which means we have this one. And then we know this message. This is a full message that we want to decrypt. <coughs> so basically, this is a full message. You can put it out next to each other. So this is the full message. But because we know the first, uh, because we know the first order. So somehow this one, because what we don't know, we don't know. Let's say. Uh, Let's say the key, for example, equal try hack me, for example. So basically, what happens is when you encrypt this uh, XOR, you get, uh, for example, try hack me value. For example, let's go over there. You find this because then you come here and you encrypt it with the key. For example, you just put this one. That's why I said repeated cipher. They said what happened. Uh, the room it stated a known plain text attack for recovery a repeated key cipher. So basically, because when the length of the key doesn't, so you can just keep printing it. You have until you find the message. The length of the message. That's and you do an XOR between them. So XOR, you keep printing. But because we know this value, so if I want to get the value of triac me the key, I just reverse it. I just take. Um, if I want this value, uh, looking for this, I can just, uh, it's easy, just take the first, um, from the encryption text, XOR with the order that we have, and then we can get the key, so you do reverse, so you can just take 12 from here, for like example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, because we know this one is 12, so we can just take this 12 an x word with that order that we find so we can just take this 12 and then uh, we that is the, the the order this is the order for hex 
we need to because uh, you need to tell him it's a from hex and now you go to XOR the key is hex and you can see now it give me a uh, sneaky now here the the thing we need to be clear about it uh, now we can make a, a good guess and say the key is a sneaky in this case because now we can find we found the key part of the or the key or part of it is sneaky but it can be it also can be uh, sneaky one two three for example or sneaky something else anything that this because it's not guaranteed it's but you can make a judgment if uh, the first word is sneaky you can say the key is sneaky you know so you can make your best guess uh, and you say uh, the key is sneaky so now l l l to test our theory and we say the key is sneaky we can just go there and do an x war so we can just um, let's put our key there we take the full message uh, from x x war but it's not we can change it to utf8 and then we can get the answer we can say all the attacker don't target and this you have the flag there uh, now we have some problem now this one not supposed to be here what's the key the full value of the key why it's a drop in ok hack uh, try hack me the hack and then you can get your flag so basically the idea is that's why we call it uh, the plain uh, cipher attack this room might be could be more uh, challenging if uh, if uh, if the key is let's say it's one two three like that you need to board force it uh, but we're lucky that uh, we've been because now because it decrypt in plain english so you can confirm the key is sneaky you don't need python for this if you want to yeah, axelar in python or something like that i like sometimes when easy stuff i just use uh, cyberchef for these things so to recap the whole story of this is because of uh, where is it Uh, because of the plain text cipher, this is why we be, we are able to decrypt it. Uh, if you did some uh, cryptography before with a plain text attack for XOR, so it's straightforward and we get the message. So whenever you get clear text or something, you know part of the cipher, it gives you the answer. Uh, if you have questions, guys, let me know and please like and support the channel and have a good day.